welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. Thank you for watching. Guys, it is the holiday season, and today it even started snowing here in New York. Yeah, it was just a few flakes, but uh, LaGuardia shut down immediately. Oh, well, here's some fun local news. Uh, you guys aren't going to believe this. A guy in Brooklyn just won $10 million from a scratch-off ticket for the second year in a row. Yeah, he's loving life. Today, he marched into his old job like, I quit again! <laughs> well, guys, everyone is talking about this. Last night in Alabama, four candidates took the stage for another Republican presidential debate. Yep, the big winners from the night were Nikki Haley, Chris Christie, and everyone who decided not to watch. Um, <laughs> yeah, last night was the fourth Republican debate. At, at this point, it's kind of like Indiana Jones movies. Three was enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once again, the debate was kind of crazy. People are saying it was pretty controversial when Vivek Ramaswamy held up a sign that said, Nikki equals corrupt. Ooh. I don't think that that's controversial. That, that, I mean, I think it would be really controversial if he held up a sign that said, hot dog equals sandwich. I mean, because that's, <laughs> people are, people are, that is not, hot dog is a hot dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris Christie came out swinging and went after Ramaswamy, and he really didn't hold back. Watch this, for real. You do this at every debate. I'll just, I'll you say, exactly no, 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 don't interrupt me. I didn't do. interrupt you. This is the fourth debate, the fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. So <laughs> shut up for a little while. I'm going to respond to that. Wow. <laughs> wow. It is clear Ramaswamy isn't well-liked. After he attacked Christie, the moderators were like, Governor Christie, you have two hours to respond. <laughs> uh, at another point uh, during the debate, Chris Christie said the other candidates were afraid to mention Trump and treat him like Voldemort, he who must not be named. And that got me thinking, there's actually a lot of similarities between Republicans and Harry Potter. Ah, oh, hey. boy, here we go. What, what, what's up, Tariq? Well, let me guess. You're going to show, like, a bunch of side-by-side -side photos of Republicans and then the Harry Potter, like, the characters that they look like. Yeah, that, that was the plan. But I know, I know exactly how this will go. So first, you'll show a picture of Harry Potter, and then you'll say, he looks like House Speaker Mike Johnson. <laughs> and then after that, you'll show a picture of, I don't know, like, probably Draco Malfoy, and you'll say, he looks like Eric Trump. <laughs> and then finally, after that, you'll show a picture of I don't know, like, Neville Longbottom when he got frozen. And then, boom, there he is. Mitch McConnell. Is that how this is gonna go? I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was pretty good. But, mm. uh, you're a little off. Yeah. Because, uh, first I'd show Harry Potter, but then I'd say he looks like George Santos. <laughs> then after that, I'd show Draco's dad, Lucius Malfoy, and say he looks like Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> and finally, I'd show frozen Neville Longbottom, but he's more like... Ron DeSantis trying to stand normally. I got to give it to you, man. Yeah. That's right, everybody. The debate lasted two hours, and a lot happened, so it was honestly hard to keep up. Thankfully, we have a remix to help you out. Check it out. Let's get started. Nikki is corrupt. It's not worth my time to respond. That's not true. Don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt, interrupt you. I have a woman problem. The most obnoxious blowhard in America. Walk yourself off that stage. Enjoy a nice meal. Yeah. Don't I'll interrupt me. I didn't deals. interrupt you. They all had man dresses on. Get the hell out of this place. Yeah. Don't I'll interrupt me. I didn't deals. interrupt you. There you go. There you go. It's a little rumor. Well, switching gears, guys, this is very sweet. Apparently, every year for Christmas, President Biden gives his wife, Jill, a personal poem that he's written. Aww. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and this year, he's been writing a bunch trying to find the right one to give, and we actually got a hold of the wastebasket from the Oval Office oh that has some of the rejects. <laughs> Should I read wow. some of them right now? I would, yeah. This is the official waste... Wow. Uh, of, the, of, ...of the Oval Office. Like James, can I get some poem reading music, please? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Roses are red, violets are blue. Remember these three words. I love, wait, what was I talking about? <laughs> Sweet, right? How about this one? Oh. Well, this really says, crumpled them up. This says, uh, the South Lawn is so perfect, it's hard to believe you're a much better gardener than my first girlfriend, Eve. Oh, that's cute. Cute. 
He did crumple them up. He did crumple them all up, yeah. yeah. Really hard. Yeah, well, he probably shoots them in the back. Yeah, probably did that from a long distance. Let's sing Christmas carols. Let's deck all the halls. I'd invite Obama, but he won't return my call. So that's, I mean, you know, that's, that's. Oh, yeah. well, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, he wrote a lot of these. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is nice. Oh. You're the light of my life. Uh, being with you is my gift. If I'm Travis Kelsey, you're Britney Spears. Oh. <laughs> he, he means well. He means well. He's the last one here. Wow. That one looks glued. But let me exclaim, ere you drive out of sight, happy Christmas to all. Oh, it's 7 p.m.? Good night. There you go. That's fantastic. Isn't that nice? Cute. Merry Christmas, everybody. We got the ways back. Wow, that's so, that's so great you got that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see this? A new poll found that uh, New York City Mayor Eric Adams' approval rating is at 28%, <laughs> which is the lowest in that poll's history. Yeah, he's pretty unpopular. Check out this news thing I saw, local news. Mayor Eric Adams' approval rating is now at a record low, according to a recent poll. To put that in perspective, he's now less popular than that mystery liquid on your subway seat. Walking through the warm steam coming from the sewer, the knockoff cookie monster outside the M&M store holding a switchblade. Watching a rat and a cockroach fight over a discarded chicken wing bone. <laughs> Pedicab drivers charging 50 bucks a minute while blasting Mariah Carey three notches too loud. Seeing a pigeon warming its feet on a halal cart griddle and even friggin' de Blasio. Oh my God, that was in the local news. Hey. Hey. Switching gears, I read that on a recent flight from Canada, an off-duty pilot had to step in after the captain suffered an uncontrollable nosebleed. Yeah, this is why before I board a plane, I always double-check that the pilot's not a third grader. <laughs> <laughs> and this made things worse. Instead of tilting his head back to stop the bleeding, he tilted the plane. Oh. Yeah, so. <laughs> Guys, um... <laughs> Finally, we have exactly 12 shows left before we go on Christmas break, which means it's time for that beloved Tonight Show tradition. It's time for 12 Days of Christmas Sweater! 12 Days of Christmas Sweater. 12 Days of Christmas Sweater. That's right! Every show between now and Christmas, we will be giving one lucky audience member a spectacular Christmas sweater from the Countdown to Christmas cabinet. Since there are 12 shows left, let's open door number 12. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. This is gorgeous. Look at this. That is. Holy moly. Uh, all right, now let's see who's going home with tonight's sweater. Everyone, look at your seat number, okay? If I call your number, I need you to jump up and let me know where you are. Quest, can I get a drum roll, please? Who wants me to pick their number? It's a good sweater. Thank you, man. Four, four, two. Fantastic. What is your name and where are you from? Uh, Maria from Colombia. Maria from Colombia! <laughs> oh my goodness. Maria, you have a beautiful sweater on. Uh, does, it get, does it get a little chilly in Colombia? Um, no. No. So this is perfect because those rare occasions when it does become chilly, you're going to have something. Do you have anything like this? Um, no. No. Uh, would you like to try it on? Of course. Oh my God. Guys, give it up for Maria from Colombia. This is. No pro oh, Maria, this is, I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at this, that's gorgeous. Ah, oh, you're a model, thank you so much. Give it up for Maria, everybody, thanks again. Stick around, we'll be right back with Olivia Rodrigo. Hey.